Welcome back. Now in this video, we will create a button navigation bar right down in here. So for that, first we will go right to lib and in here right click create a new directory and name this as a widgets. Now, right in this directory, in this folder, we will create a new dot file and we will name this as a bottom underscore nav navigation and bar you guys can see the name right in here it must be like that in a small alphabets with the underscore instead of space so that's fine now right in there you will have a stateless widget so write st there we go we are going to name this as a bottom navigation for for app now simply remove that key we don't need this and click on this stateless widget and import the library material dot dot so that's fine right in here now one more thing we are about to use the curve navigation bar first let me show you that right in the postback.yml we have already added the curve navigation bar dependencies so you guys can see that right in here now simply close that postback.yml and back to the button navigation bar right in here we will remove that container and we will say curve navigation bar there we go with the suggestion so this is going to take the items we will remove that for now that property and we will edit just in a while now take this down we will say items and right in the items first we will set the icons so in here we will say icon and in there icons dot first one we will create it for our job screen so the icon for the job screen will be list there we go and now we're gonna set the size size is gonna be 19 and we will set the color so in here colors dot black let's find right in here at the end comma so I will show you the result at a real time first right in here we will create a integer type index number and we will give the value 0 that's fine right in here now right in here we will set the index to the index num that we just created now write down below in here it's gonna take the on tap event as you guys can see right in here okay this is gonna take the index we will pass it right in here so right in the on tap event what we will do we will simply say if the index equals to zero then on that index number what we will do we will simply navigate the user and push it to the job screen so in here we will say navigation dot push replacement it's going to take the contacts now we will provide the root the root going to be the material page root as you guys know already so in here set the path now in here we will say job screen there we go at it and add the semicolon so now in here add the const modifier so the yellow line will be gone then as you guys can see so first right in the curve navigation bar we set the icon right in the items and that icon is list as I told you before it was for a job screen and then we set the index number okay as we initialize right in here 
so that list will be on the zeroth index so that's why right in here right in the on tap event we pass the index okay and in here we just check the index if index is equal to zero on the zero index simply what we will do we will push the user to the job screen I hope you can get the idea now so one more thing we will go towards the job screen right in here and right in the scaffold we will say bottom navigation bar as you guys can see right in here now in there bottom navigation bar for app so we didn't see this occasion we will just write it navigation bar for app there we go that one okay bottom navigation bar for app so just don't get confused in that and then what we will do we will pass upon the index now in here so let me check that error right in the bottom navigation bar it didn't take the index now in here as you guys can see we just initialize the index num but we didn't create the constructor for that so because of that it didn't take the index num so in here what we will say we will say bottom navigation bar for app and right in there what we will say we will say required and then we say this dot index now and now if we go back to the job screen you guys will notice that that a will be gone so let's go towards the job screen now and there we go as you guys can see right in here the error has been gone already and now we will simply go back to the button navigation bar and right in the curve navigation what we will do we will simply set the color background color and all of the properties for that curve navigation bar that we are about to show right down in here so first we will set the color and we will go with the deep orange the shade 400 okay now we will set the background color for that navigation bar okay so in here we will say colors and we will set it to blue accent and also we will set the background color for the button there we go so in here we will say colors dot let's go with the deep orange but with the shade 300 now we will set the height for that curve navigation bar we will set it to 50 all good now if you guys didn't hold to load the app you simply first do that okay and then if you press the control s you guys will notice the output so i have already hold to load the app now i will simply press the control s and you guys will notice the output so let's go and do that control s there we go with the curve navigation bar right in here at the bottom okay and there we go with the list icon as you guys can see right in here okay with a black color so our size is 19 I think that's fine and you guys can notice the color deep orange with the shade 400 there we go okay and also the background color with the blue accent there we go and also the background color for a button with a deep orange shared 300 there we go right in the center and the height is 50 if you guys want to increase the height you simply do it right in here so as you guys know already right on the zero index we simply navigate the user to the job screen and you guys can see that right in here job screen and there we go now 
we will create another screen okay it will be simply for the search companies there will be all the worker so for that first adding the lib we will create a new directory and we can name this as a search that's fine now right in there let's create a new dot file and it will be simply search underscore companies okay that's fine in there we will have a stateful widget so write st and there go the stateful let's name this as a all worker as i tell you it's going to be simply for the search companies and they will be all the workers okay so we can name this as a all workers screen now simply remove that const key and let's import the library material dot dot for now in here what we will do we will just add the app bar and there will be a title so that you guys know that we are on the all worker screens okay so first let me go towards the job screen as you guys can see right in here from here we will copy that decoration okay so for time saving we will do that copy it and go back to the search companies dot dot right in here in the container paste it okay now let's go back to the job screen again and we're gonna copy that from here copy it and go back to the search companies dot dot and right in here we will say child and let's have a scaffold widget right in here okay and right in the scaffold paste it now if you guys go back to the job screen also from here we will copy that whole app bar from here okay from here to here just don't get confused in that copy it and go back to the search companies dot dot as you guys can see right in here so right down below past it now we will change this title to the all workers screen because it's a all worker screens right in the search companies dot dot and you guys can see that so we have already add the decoration in which there is a mixture of a two color as you guys can see right in here okay we said that and also for the app bar, we add this decoration in which there is a mixture of a two color with the deep orange and a blue accent and this is simply for the all worker screens you guys will notice that in a while whenever we were done with that so there is the all worker screen now let's go back to the bottom navigation bar dot dot and for the all worker screen what we will do we will add the icon right in here okay so right down in there we will say icons dot you will go with the search and let's set the size it's going to be 19 again and also we will set the colors color is going to be set the spelling right in here black that's fine okay i can search because it's a search companies dot dot and the class name is all worker screens so let's go back to the bottom navigation bar right in here now it's on the want index okay this was on the zeroth index now this one is on the first index so for that right in the on tap event we will simply say in here is f okay and then we will say index if it's equal equal to one 
so in that case we will maybe get the user to the all worker skins that we just created so for time saving just copy that navigator copy it and write in this in the index one paste it but in here we will change this to the all so there we go with the suggestion all worker screen okay and all of the thing is just that now what we will do we will simply go to where the search companies dot dot all over the screen right in here in the scaffold we will say bottom navigation bar bottom navigation let me just write it first navigation bar for app okay that one just don't get confused in that and select that one so now in there we will say index num and it's on a first index so there we go so we have successfully add that right in here in the scaffold now before run the app we will also add right in here in the boat and navigation bar the animation duration okay so whenever will we jump from one screen to another there will be a animation okay so in here we will set the duration first so in here duration and it's gonna be milliseconds to 300 as you guys can see right in here now below that right in here animation curve curves we will go with the you can choose whatever you want right in here but I'll go with the bounce in out now in here add the constant modifier and we have successfully done with all of the thing as we added the icon also we navigate the user to the all worker screen as you guys can see right in here on the index one and right in the search companies we add that so now what we will do we will simply press the control s and you guys will notice that there we go with the search icon okay now we are on the job screen okay and you guys can see the icon right in here if I click on this search icon you will notice the animation and also we will be on the all worker screen as I tell you before so let's go and click on that there we go now we are on the all worker screen and you guys also notice the animation okay animation curve bouncing out and also we set the duration with the millisecond 300 and you guys can notice like that in here as we jump from here to here and here to here all worker screen in the search one and also we are on the job screen list one okay as you guys can see right in here so it's working totally fine and right on the all worker screen as we set the decoration as I show you before okay and you guys know the whole story and also we add the title let me show you that one more time so that you guys just don't get confused in that okay so there we go with the decoration to this area and also in the scaffold right in the app we add this title all worker screen and you guys can notice that right in the app bar right in the center and also we add the decoration for that okay so for now on we will simply close that search companies dot dot for the all worker screen close that and also we will close the job screen dot dot now we are left with the button navigation bar dot dot so the video is becoming a little lengthy we will end this video right in here and we will start working right from the next video in the bottom navigation bar for app so see you in the next one